juicy and moist and fatty and delicious. This is what real chicken tastes like. Hey, I'm Nikki, and today I'm making my family's recipe of Hainanese chicken rice. Mm. So the first thing you wanna do in making chicken rice is take care of your chicken. We salt the heck out of it and you give it a good rub down. It's like a little exfoliating massage. This cleans the chicken skin, makes it nice and plump when it cooks. So now you can trim off some of the chicken fat and you wanna save it for a super important step later. And go ahead and season it again with more salt. Don't forget to season the inside, the cavity. Shove some ginger in there, some green onion, so that when it cooks, you get that beautiful flavor from the inside out. Hainanese chicken rice is like a beautifully boiled whole chicken that is juicy and moist and fatty and delicious, served with rice and an array of sauces. I was born and raised in Singapore and this dish has always been a part of my life. Chicken rice is like a staple home cooked food or street food that all Singaporeans know about. You can get them at hawker centers, you can make them at home. My grandma made it for us when we moved to the States and couldn't get it anymore. I recently got married and I got to introduce my wife to chicken rice, that was really special. This is an ethnically Chinese dish, but because Singapore is such a melting pot of cultures and people from all over Asia, it's kind of become this staple of Singaporean street food. The dish is traditionally cooked with this chicken found mostly in Asia that has like a very yellow fat to it. The skin actually comes out more yellow than I think we're used to seeing here in the US. And it's all about tasting what that chicken is in its purest form. And so it's not quite what we have here, but it's pretty darn close and it's amazing. It's great. Oh man, that ginger garlic smells so good in that sesame oil. Get all of those flavors really incorporated into all of that rice and then you dump it right into a rice cooker just like my grandma did. Grandma's always using a rice cooker. She really likes using it, even if she doesn't have to. I think one of the big reasons why Asian American representation is so important is because there are a lot of misconceptions about what it means to be Asian American or to be Asian. I myself am an Asian immigrant and sometimes people have a lot of preconceived notions of what that means. Singapore is such a beautiful and vibrant and collaborative culture and I think a lot of people don't really know a lot about it. For me growing up, it was always a lot of family, friends, cousins, aunts, uncles, grandpas coming together and everyone kind of bring their own food and sharing and just having a great time sweating it out there because it is hot in Singapore. I can kind of look back and reflect on how formative my early childhood years were to who I am now and how that has affected my worldview. And it's something that I want to share with people. And if I can do that through a plate of really delicious food, then I can't think of anything better. My dad always joked that like, we may be American kids now, but we have Chinese stomachs and he's totally right. And when I have a plate of chicken rice, I could feel at home for just a few minutes and I love it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna take this. Oh yes.